Hello everyone, my name is Jason Praga and I'm the application developer for the Marist IBM Joint Study OpenFlow Research Team. Today we're going to give you a demo of Avier 1.3, which is a new and improved version of Avier. And and this this demo is long overdue because I think the last video was done over six months ago. Uh, so we'll just get started. So one of the first features that I added was the ability to connect to your controller uh, through the command line and enter that host instead of having to go to that that first window which I felt might be useful to some of you uh, so what we're gonna do is just start it up uh, and it's pointing at a controller running locally and here you have uh, a very similar screen a very similar view to the, the first version 1.1 uh, you still have your primary uh, two pieces here, which is the uh, monitoring, the overview aspect, and then you have the tools, which is the the testing aspect. So what's different here is uh, a a detailed switches feature, which I'll show you right now. Um, right here we have the the usual list of switches that you might have seen in the last version, and right now we're just running uh, Mininet, which has a bunch of virtual hosts. Uh, but what's cool is this detailed view of all the switches. So right here you have your manufacturer information, um, port information, you'll get link status, how many bytes or packets have gone across. Uh, and then you have a flow table here which shows you all the flows that are in that switch, uh, the priority of the match action, uh, just all the important stuff that you need to know. And what's really cool is that it does this, uh, it updates this in real time. So every second it'll query the controller for all this information and you can see the implications of what you're doing in real time so to show you a bit of that I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open up the new and improved static flow manager and instead of having uh, two or three boxes pop out for like the action manager or the match manager uh, everything's just right here in this one box so we'll just mess around uh, and enter a flow on switch 28. Just hit new flow, enter a flow name of test, give it a priority of five just because, and then we can give it an action right here. And we have the normal list of actions. Uh, but what's cool about Avier, which is different than version 1.1 also, is that there's error checking or, or validation. So now that we have this information about what ports are on your switch, like we can see right here, you have three, two, four, negative two, which is an error, but <laughs> one. Uh, and, and we can say say we try to enter six here uh, for the output port. We'll give we'll have an error because that port does not exist. So what we'll do is just uh, enter something valid like three, and it'll save that action. And the same uh, goes for the match manager. So we'll just enter a port of one and hit save but uh, there also is error checking for the the data layer destination and source so MAC addresses and then for uh, the network source and destination so for IP addresses too and we'll just go ahead and push that flow here and we have this message that says the flow is successfully pushed down to the switches and what this means is that uh, the flow was actually verified to be on those switches because um, the static flow pusher kind of lets you almost push whatever you want to it and it'll store that on that database and say everything was fine and dandy but in reality it might have tried to, to push that information down to the switches and the switches might have rejected it and that could be kind of frustrating at times because you, you would think that there were actually flows on the switches but there actually weren't um, so what this does is pushes it to the static flow pusher and makes sure that's okay and then afterwards queries the switch for all its flows and verifies that the same flow was pushed down there. So that's very helpful as well. And as you can see, that flow was pushed down to the to the switch here. We have the detailed view and we can see it has a match import of one and output of three. It hasn't really been affected at all yet and it's just been aging here. And we can see that it's static, which is different than dynamic flows. Um, so what we can do is delete that flow and then you can see it update there in real time. So uh, to show you 
a more drastic experience of this live view of the switches. Uh, I'm going to do a ping all on a rather large topology and you'll see this table start to saturate heavily. As you can see there's like a ridiculous amount of flows on here. Uh, but they will soon time out as they're all dynamic and the ping is stopped. And there it goes. So in addition to an improvement to the static flow manager and this detailed switch view, I actually inserted an interface for the firewall. And, and this will work as long as you have the master or uh, a version of Floodlight that includes the firewall. So uh, right off the bat, the firewall has to be enabled. So right now we'll just verify that it's not on. And you can see this ping all function. So we can stop that. And now if we hit enable and we try and do that same ping all, absolutely nothing should work. So these will disappear um, and we'll just try this real quick. And nothing is happening. You have absolutely no flows on any of the switches. Well, you have one. And that one, uh, that one flow on one E is actually going to be a drop flow. So you can see it's matching on everything that's going in and it's dropping because the firewall is preventing it from doing anything. So we'll cancel that. So now that the firewall is enabled, I can give you a little demo of how uh, to insert a rule. So we just hit new rule here. Um, and then we can select the switch. So this is obviously a bit nice. Instead of having to try and type in a DPID into uh, a long JSON string, you can just select one of these drop down items. Uh, so we'll just select, well actually we're going to select nothing for now because I just want to approve a point here. But um, we'll give an action of allow, allow and then give it a priority of 5 just because. And since we haven't entered anything in the values here, um, it should wildcard everything. Meaning it should just allow everything to go through across the entire topology because we haven't specified a switch either. So it's wildcarding every single field and so we have the firewall enabled but uh, this should just allow all traffic to flow everywhere so do a ping all here you'll see it'll work like normal but um, what we'll do right now is just enter a rule that should mess things up so we'll delete this rule and then enter a new one and we'll say on switch uh, we'll switch 1e because that's what we're looking at uh, we'll say on port 2 uh, and we'll deny it. And uh, once again, we could enter any of these IP addresses, but just for the purpose of this demo, I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it really simple. And so we can push this rule down. And we can try to do that ping all again, but it's going to have some issues, <laughs> uh, as you can see. So you have, once again here, uh, a drop flow occurring on here. So what we'll do is we'll cancel out of this, this ping all. Come on. Okay. Uh, and then we'll disable the firewall and everything should work just fine and dandy. And it does. Okay. So this concludes this demo, and I hope it was helpful to some of you. Hopefully it intrigued some of you to start working with Floodlight. I'm ready to use Avier. Um, and you can reach out to us by going to openflow.marist.edu, and I'll put that in the description for you guys. Uh, and you can also email us at openflow at marist.edu. And feel free to just talk to us um, if you want to collaborate or do something interesting. Or if you have any suggestions, just reach out to us and holler. Thanks a lot.